welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you for watching uh today i am going to do uh my version of a saint patrick's day theme um and i'm just jumping right into it of course this is a voiceover but i'm jumping right into it and um i'm gonna try not to say um this whole video uh, but i did do the pop-off method so I already have my tips on I just skipped that part and I'm, I'm gonna be using of course my Savvy Land brushes which I love I love these brushes they work so well to me and I am pretty much uh, kind of in in love in awe with having a design under my nails for some reason <laughs> So what I'm doing here is I'm I'm going to create uh, the rainbow effect that you see in the thumbnail uh, for under my nails. I'm just, I don't know. I just like it. I, I can't wait to see how creative I can get. Uh, but I'm, I'm just doing red. And once I'm satisfied, I hate that it's not in focus. So, well, I didn't even know I was going to put it in focus. But... <laughs> but uh, I did try and find a new angle so this is kind of a new angle I could see the top of my phone at least or the screen of my phone so I could see even though sometimes you can't see what I'm doing I could see that you know I could kind of check and try to reposition myself um, versus how I was previously I couldn't see it all but uh, I'm gonna try and connect the rainbow colors across each nails starting with the red and uh, the polish that you saw it is a timu polish that i got from timu and i'm gonna do i'm, a, I'm gonna make a video swatching the polishes i got off of timu i did re-record pre well yeah i recorded some hauls from timu but i haven't posted them and i don't even know if i am because the products that i have i've seen on so many people's channels already so Timu and Shein, to be honest. So, I might not even post them, but I might review some of the things that I got just by doing like swatches. Because I did get, get ah, I did get acrylics as well. But yeah, I'm gonna stop blabbering and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna complete this rainbow here across all my fingers. Oh, I guess I will talk now. I'm going to use this orange. It's next by MSK, also from Timu. Uh, and it is in the color um, that 14. <laughs> the color 14. And with this color, uh, I'm going to put the orange on both sides of the red. And don't look at my thumb, it's kind of busted. But uh, I only decided to do both sides because. Oh, and I did cure the red, by the way, so it is cured. But I only decided to do both sides because I realized I started the pattern pretty low. And I, I didn't want it to end up on, you know, going too further. Excuse me, too... What am I trying to say? I didn't want it to go too close to my nail bed, uh, even though it is, and have all that space at the top. So I just put it on both sides, as I will with all of the colors. Okay, now, now I'm going to shut up until we get another color. Well, I am sorry that you guys can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm working on it, y'all. I'm. I promise. I'm working on it. I'm gonna get it together pretty soon. I think I need a chair, like a higher chair, because the chair I have sits pretty low. But I think if I had a higher chair, I'd be able to work more efficiently while while actually keeping myself in view. But. Yeah, I'm gonna speed this up some because this process took me a whole hour just to paint just to paint the rainbow it took me an hour Ugh, it took me forever so I'm gonna speed it up
right and i'm finishing up the pinky and we are going to be moving into the next color after we cure this of course all right and the next color is yellow and i believe it was also an msk polish but different packaging I guess I was admiring this design <laughs> for way too long uh, but yep it is a uh, yellow you can kind of not see it but it is by, also by MSK and I love the packaging of these bottles they are so cute and the yellow is 006 also from Timu I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides of the orange we'll, we'll paint the yellow And I do see that I put some yellow on top of the orange, but again, this is for under the nails, so you won't even see the top of the design. So I just didn't, I don't think I wiped it off. I'm not sure, but I don't think I cared about it. I just kept going. Oops, somebody sending me a message. Okay, phone, be quiet. Alright, and I'm going to cure that. Uh, at this point, I'm it's looking real groovy to me. And I was starting to like fall in love with it. I could not stop looking at it. I thought it was so pretty. But also by MSK, this pretty green color. The bottle is so pretty. Look at it. And that's in 007. Um, and the green pretty much, it matches the bottle. It's so pretty. But we're also going to do this on both both sides of the yellow. Excuse me, I'm yawning. Do any of you yawn all day? I feel like I don't be getting enough oxygen or something. That's so random, but... I'm not tired or bored at all. <laughs> I just yawn. I don't know. Oh, and guys, I, I did try to make this video as short as possible. Maybe I could have sped this part up some, but I thought you guys may want to see some of it and not, like, be it too fast. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah, it took me, this process took an hour, um, laying the acrylic wasn't, didn't take that long, although I had, I, ooh, ooh, when you see this acrylic, girl, 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 <laughs> I was on a struggle bus, uh, I'm gonna explain when we get there, but it was bad, but following took quite a bit, oh, and we're about to use this blue, it's pretty blue, MSK, and that is in 008, also a pretty color these two timu polishes are not bad guys so if you are i don't see too many people that pick them up but if you are hesitant on um getting the timu polishes i am going to post a few I'm, i might as well post that saturday guys and i'm coming up with a new schedule so i was going to try and post saturday and um wednesday but wednesday is not a good day for me so I'm going to do Thursday, I will be posting full sets. Um, Saturday, 
I'm gonna do like swatches or hauls, like miscellaneous stuff. And then on Tuesday, I'm gonna be creating um, press ons. So on Tuesday, you will see a, vid a video of me just coming up with art ideas um, or art designs uh, for press ons. And I'm gonna try to stick to that. Um, Tuesday, it, it, on Tuesdays, it may not even be a full video. So every now and then, it may just be a short. But that is the schedule I'm gonna try and stick to. Look at this rainbow, though. Like, I love this. I love the colors. I want to do this again, but have the rainbow like on top of like the top design. Oh. I think that's the final yeah that's the final color but I just love how it looks it just looks so pretty to me I love how it connects I love it I'm definitely gonna put this on top of a nail and that is what the bottom will look like uh, and because we don't want to see the acrylic color that I want to lay down um, I do have to cover up the top part so I want to paint over it with white. I'm just admiring the art because I thought it was great. And this is a white gel polish uh, that I got from House of Supplies. Um, and I'm going to just paint this right over the top of all my nails. And we're just going to bypass this part. I'll paint the thumb for you and we'll bypass the rest of it because it's just painting white polish. Alright, so we had them all painted, or at least covered enough so that it's just white underneath, white and rainbow. And now we're going to get into this acrylic with my number 12 Savvy Land brush. And let me tell you, okay, so I figured it out because I could not control this acrylic whatsoever. Um, but I did figure it out. And this is a love acrylic also by House of Supplies. I did figure out that I was using too much monitor, mo blah, 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 too much monomer. <laughs> but by the time I figured it out, boy, I was done. <laughs> I was done putting the acrylic down. But I could not control it. It was just so much liquid in my brush. And I, I kept trying to drain it, but it just seemed like it was just too much liquid no matter what I did. But um, I just think I should have used a smaller brush, which... When I got done, I did do uh, just like a little practice nail with a smaller brush and it worked out perfectly fine. So I know now uh, the number 12 brush worked perfectly fine with the uh, uh, Moravin acrylic that I used with my last set. And if you haven't seen that video, it is going to be in the cards. It should already be there. And But it worked perfectly with that acrylic. But with this one, it didn't need that much monomer. So I needed a smaller brush. And if you didn't watch the House of Supplies um, haul, uh, I did do swatches in that, but I use I also use a smaller brush, so the acrylic worked perfectly fine. It's just this big old number twelve brush is not it's not for this. So and yep, and I'm just gonna lay the acrylic. So my middle, I'm doing my middle finger and my um, thumb, and I was trying to make like a an ombre effect I'm so sorry that you can't see I don't know why I'm so zoomed in what is happening right here I am so close to this monomer dish what why am I this close I don't understand I don't know what I thought I was doing but we're just gonna speed through this anyways don't don't worry about it And we're using this pretty green, also by Love Acrylic, to do the ombre, which I'm not really good at, but eh, it came out okay. I was going to do a, um, like a French tip, like a Frenchie, but 
I forgot. And I just started laying that acrylic down. And I'm like, what the heck am I doing? This is supposed to be a French. And it ended up being an ombre. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. Look at that. Look at that nail. It's so wavy. Look at it. Oh my god. The nail is it's just lumpy. It was all bad. It was all bad. Okay, now I'm going in with all green. Uh, and that is going to be uh, my index finger it's just gonna be completely green and I'm in love with this green look at it I cannot wait I mean I can't wait to use it again but look at it it's just so pretty and I think on this nail I think I kind of got a little control of the, of the uh, polymer well the acrylic kind of got a ratio going but it still came out crazy I'm gonna have to redeem myself in the next video. Now I'm going in with white, just all white by also by Love Acrylic. You see, I spilled that all over the dang on jar. It was really loose, but the white was, it was so difficult to use. It was more difficult than the nude and green color. It was like, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really familiar with white acrylic. Like, I don't use it by any brand really that often. Or I haven't. You know, even in like the past when I tried doing my own nails. I never used white, but... If you know, I'm not sure if you guys know, but if you do, is it the consistency pretty much the same across the board? Is white like really soft, I guess I would say? It was it was really soft. It was almost like paint. Look at that nail. Oh, that is horrible. Look at my cuticle. <laughs> oh my god, that is so bad. Like I'm almost embarrassed. If I wasn't new to this, <laughs> I would be embarrassed. And I never heard of Reconca before, if that's how you say it. But this is also from Timu. And it's just a sparkly green color, I believe, in the number 10. Um, a sparkle acrylic, but I'm going to do the full pinky nail in this color. And once I get it covered, I'm going to just top it off with acrylic so I can have something to file away. And I won't be filing at the glitter. All right, and I'm about done. I am done. And that is how my hand came out. And after I got done fouling, which I did off camera, this is what it's looking like. And I was so, I was much more happy after I got done fouling. Um, I actually was proud of myself. I thought they looked pretty good. But a lot of fouling was done. Um, I'm going to be using, though, that uh, gel foil transfer glue that I just showed you. Also by House of Supplies. And this gold foil that I got from... Uh, she in. I don't know why my camera is drifting away, but away it goes. And up top, you see a pan of jewels I used on my last set that I have not put away. <laughs> they just sit there. I don't feel like putting them back in the spots they go in. I figured I'd do that when I organize my gems. When I finally get around to organizing my gems. Uh, but I put that gold, um, put a little partial piece of gold on the pinky. 
and then I'm just going around the edges of my middle finger and my thumb and I'm gonna also put glue there as well and if you don't know if you use transfer transfer glue foil glue uh, you didn't need to cure it before you put the foil down I didn't know that at first but I'm aware now but make sure you cure it I did cure it <laughs> it, it doesn't look like I did but I, I cured it you just skip that part all right and then we're gonna take this gold sticker here and we're gonna use this on our index finger I tried to put it as straight as I could I cut off the excess and now we are getting placing the rhinestones on the white nail here which took oh lord that took forever I don't know if I'll ever do that again but these rhinestones took forever so we are gonna super speed by this because I did a whole half a nail on these really small those small rhinestones that you see right below my index finger whoo good lord I'll never do it again if I do they will be big never with the small ones and I was trying to trying to, trying to find the rhinestones that are flipped upright lord I was trying to pick up multiple at a time it wasn't working <laughs> it's all bad but I was satisfied with the outcome, so I guess that is all that matters. And they're so pretty. And I got those from Amazon. Um, if you want to get you some of those rhinestones, I got two different sizes. But uh, in my first Amazon haul, which I'm also going to put in the cards, uh, there is a link in the description if you want to go check those items out and no it is not a storefront for me it's just uh I don't know just passing it on I'm not gonna gatekeep them you know <laughs> And y'all, I really thought I was going to use those stickers. I bought them just for this purpose and I didn't even use them. I had planned to use them for my undernail design, but it just didn't, it, it didn't go right in my head. So, and I was in love with the rainbow. So I just left them off. Y'all see how long this took? Good lord. And this isn't fast forward. This took forever. I'll never do that again. But now we're going to work on this index finger. And put some gems over here. Thank God we're only using three of them. But we have this beautiful heart. And if you wonder why I chose the gems I chose. It's because they were. They have that rainbow reflection type thing going on. I don't know what those are called, AD maybe, I don't know, but I liked it. I thought it went well with the theme of my nails, so I went ahead and put that heart in those two uh, clovers or shamrocks. And on my thumb, I am going to build my own little three-leaf clover out of these gold hearts here. Right at my cuticle area, I'm going to put a little green rhinestone to tie it all together. Um... And I believe, yeah, I also did my middle finger. I don't, I don't know if I skipped that or if I just kind of blinked out over it. But <laughs> I put a little heart there as well and three rhinestones. And now I'm just topping them off with Top Coat by, what was it, Magic Top Coat that I got out of my nail boxy uh, deluxe box. Um, but, yep, yeah, I'm just topping off with a no wipe silicone top coat. And I top off the top and the bottom of my nail. So the, yeah, under my nail as well, I did top coat just to make that shiny. And this is the final 
product guys I am in love with these nails I thought they were so pretty uh, and I think I'm getting better at this I think I'm getting better and I'm so proud even though I wasn't proud when I was laying that acrylic I am proud now and I am satisfied and happy but anywho thank you all for watching um, if you like what you saw give it a like make sure you subscribe and share it with a friend comment down below something that you think I don't know teach me something and uh, always remember stay cute and I love you bye for now I'm not, I'm not, I'm not.